Hello and welcome to the first tutorial and probably the most popular video for Vivaldi Metro 8, a cloud-based and local client-based dry cleaning software. In this video, I'll show you the most popular module of the software, obviously being on how to write a ticket. The tutorial will actually be a little bit long, so it will be divided into two videos. The first, I'll write a simple ticket for you to get familiar with the windows, and in fact, it'll be the simplest it can get. We'll select a customer from the customer search window and then write a ticket and then with multiple items on it. Then after we printed the ticket, we'll head into the second video where we'll get into a little bit more depth on how to write a ticket with different upcharges and different options after we select the date, the date that they want to, be, um, want to pick up. We'll even get to how to add a quick customer while we're writing the ticket. So, but before we do that, let's just do a little bit of an overview of the main menu since most of you watching are fairly new to the software. Vivaldi 8 Metro is designed with the same visual approach of Windows 8, with the same look and feel of the operating system, although it is capable of running, obviously, with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and again, Windows 8. Same as many uh, Windows operating systems, Vivaldi 8 does have a menu system, which where you can access all your counter, your office, your reports, your utilities, and any help options whatsoever. It is security control, so meaning that you can assign custom, uh, sorry, assign users to different levels of access, meaning that a counter person might not have the same buttons available, whereas a manager might have all the buttons available. There are, of course, the main buttons on the center of the screen. The software is designed for the use of touch screens and tablets primarily, but then again, you have the ability to use a mouse and keyboard to access these buttons. To access a button, you just simply click on the desired icon. We'll actually be writing a ticket for this video, so let's click on Write Ticket on the button on the top left of the main screen. All right, so let's assume a customer walks in with a pair of slacks or trousers. Actually, let's just make that two pairs of trousers and one shirt that they want dry cleaned. We'll write the simple ticket, we'll print the simple ticket, and then show you how easy it is to write this ticket. Then we'll dive into a little bit more complex things later. When we reach this next screen, which is what we call the customer search window, simply put, this is where you search for your customers. You'll automatically be sent to the search for field ready for your input. You can type any phone number or a name. If you're using a tablet, you have the ability to use this number pad. And also, again, if you have a tablet, you have the ability to click on this ABC and this virtual keyboard will pop open for you to just click on the keyboard ready for your disposal. So for example, let's find a customer called James Smith. We'll type in part of his name such as SMIT and then press enter. And you'll see instantly all the customers that have the SMIT in their name. After that, you have two options. You can either click on the customer and double click on the customer to reach the right ticket window or you can highlight the customer so for Jane Smith and then we'll click on right ticket which is what we just did right now. This will send you to the right ticket window simply put this is where you write all your tickets. Let's actually work our way down. The top section is where you select the type of class. It will filter with all the items down below with, for that selected class. The default class right now is dry cleaning, as you can tell for select item for dry cleaning in yellow text. All the force up, up, all the force up charges will appear down here as well if you selected an item that has a force up charge. In fact, we'll get into a little bit of more terminology about up charges in a little in a, in a later video about class and item management video. All the optional up charges will appear down here at the bottom if you selected an item, and in addition to the colors. Your customer information will appear down here with any comments about this particular customer. So in order to write a ticket, we'll click on dry cleaning. The software states to select an item for dry cleaning, obviously in this yellow text. So, but if for instance, if you want to change the class to let's say laundry, we'll click on laundry and all the items will be updated for laundry. It even says so to select an item for laundry. Now let's click on one for the item and let's look actually let's go back to dry cleaning we'll click on one and then we'll click on shirts and then we're forced to do a forced upcharge meaning that we are forced to do a sub item 
So for in this case, we'll just click on sweatshirts. And on the right ticket block, this is where your ticket is, we'll, everything will be updated. So there's one shirt, D for dry cleaning, with a total amount of $5.50 for this items. And a fourth subcharge um, being sweatshirts. All your item count will be down here with a total of $5.50. Now if we were to select two items, we would click on the two button on the top left and then we'll select uh, trousers. I'm just trying to try to find trousers. Okay, and then we'll force to do it to upcharge again. And again, everything will be updated. Now the total item count is three with a total do dollar amount of $13.50. And you'll notice that as you select the items in the center that the optional upcharge will appear down here at the bottom right in addition to colors. When we're done, well, let's just click on save and print. And this will direct you to another screen called the print ticket window. Here you'll be able to just select the pickup date. For this particular store, it's defaulted to two days in advance. So today's the 26th, the pickup date is 28th, but you're able to select the pickup date whenever you want. So the 29th, 30, 31st, you can move along to certain months. You're able to select the coupon right here, or which everything will be put into the discount amount. You're able to apply prepayment. You're able to email tickets and any of these buttons right here on the right, will able to do different things. And in fact, we'll get into a little bit more complex in a later video. If you're writing tickets, you simply click save and close. Actually, we'll, that's what we'll be doing later on. If the customer has tickets ready for pickup, the information will be provided here above in black text. For the, so for this customer, he doesn't have currently any tickets that are ready to be picked up. But if he does, but if he did, you'll be able to print and pick up, which will just print the ticket that you're currently writing right now, and pick go to the pickup window to any things that are ready to be picked up at that certain location. But for many occasions, you'll just be able to just click on print ticket. And so for us right now, we'll just click save and close. And this will lead us back to the customer search window. And so we can click on back to go to the, back to the main menu. And that simply is how you write a simple ticket. Please remember to see the next video on writing more complex ticket. And thank you for watching. Bye.